Honors Geometry, Lesson 11.3, Areas of Trapezoids. So this is another area theorem. We've done uh, squares and triangles. And uh, I generally let students try this one on their own because I think it's uh, a healthy exercise. So let's do this. Let's draw some random trapezoid. Let's fix these two. There we go. And label it. Base 1. Height, of course, at 90 degree, and base 2, which is the whole bottom part. And what I always recommend whenever you're doing these problems on an ACT or anywhere else, divide them into things you've seen before. And most people say, well, I see a rectangle and a couple triangles, and I'm going to be lazy, as you may or may not have noticed is my want, or I'm just going to go with two triangles. So triangle 1, I'll do in blue. The area of that is one half the base, and the base is base one times the height. You might say, "Well, the height's out here." How did? Yeah, think about it. If I move it over here, it's in the same spot. It's still a height. It'll still go from base one to base two, and that's where the triangle goes from. So that's the area of that triangle. We could do the same thing. For the other one, it's just this base, this height, and there's our triangle. So that's it. We're done. And I just add them together. Total area. Get that out of the way. One half base one times h plus. One half base two times h area total, or actually, I'll just call it area down here is one half height because I can factor that out base one plus base two. This is kind of an interesting thing. If I drew a line right across here, which is basically the average, it'd be like uh, base 1 plus base 2 over 2. We call that the median or MIG segment, if you recall. I had a little argument about that. Median, which is what they call it. And I like to call it the mid segment because it makes more sense when I compare it to the mid segment of a triangle. But if you look at that, base 1 plus base 2 over Two. That's basically all of this. So a lot of times I'll add for that ask that median mid segment, and what it's basically saying is that the area is the height times the mid segment, or well, that's the mid segment. Something to be aware of. It pops up in problems when we're trying to mess with you like we do. So simple, simple examples. Area of a trapezoid. Very simple. One half. Height. Seven. Times 12 plus eight. Equals 70. Now you are probably aware of this whole concept of unit squared. We talked about it briefly earlier. Um, you do not have to put it in. I'm putting it here just to bring it up so that I can say you don't have to put it in. Some people really like putting it in because they had a teacher once who like yelled at them. By all means, be my guest. Now here's the funny part. All this crap I've done, that's not how I teach it. Not how I actually solve the problems. If I have to do a trapezoid, I just, I don't screw around. I just turn it into a rectangle, a couple triangles. I say if this is 12, then this is 12. This was 18, then it's 3 here and 3 here. This is a 3, 4, 5. And now I can just either do all the triangles or I can, um, pardon me, two triangles and a rectangle, or I can just do the formula, which is 1 half, 4 times 12 plus 16, which equals 60. Hang on, let me check that.
Still working on it. Because I couldn't read that. It says 18 there. I wonder what I was doing. 18, 30, which is 60. And again, units squared. That's it. Happy mathing.